what's up everybody it's your main man lakeith right here at a new construction property i'm doing right here in dallas fort worth so today topic we're going to talk about what garage door to choose How do you know which one is the best and how do you know which one would stand up to any test so come on in man and let me show you what we got going on so this is a new construction property right here uh as you see it's, it's still no walls no anything right here so the reason why i chose this garage door open is because it's real light it's a one car garage so i had to get it in the, in the, in the right shape right dimensions but to be honest with you if you're choosing a garage door, it's really up to you. You know what I'm saying? Like, what, what fits your mode, what fits your budget, what fits uh, what it is that you're looking to do and, and the end goal that you're looking to accomplish. Doesn't matter whether it's a one car or a two car, they come in several different shapes, several different colors, several different fabrications. I chose an aluminum garage door. It's light. I'll be honest with you, it's cheap. I think this garage door cost me about 700 bucks. And it's easy. You got to think about it. You got to buy a garage door opener. So you don't want a real heavy door because then you have to buy a, a, a five horsepower or, or a high horsepower garage door opener, which is going to be more expensive. So for me as an investor, I do what's more cost effective. I do what's more what makes more sense at the end of the day, not just for myself, but for the for the homeowner. Um, this particular property I'm renting out, but I would do the same in a new construction. Um, and if you go in a new neighborhood, you'll see a lot of aluminum doors. They're really light. I can remember being a kid and I think we had a wood garage door and it was super heavy. Uh, the garage door opener broke. I used to have to get out and lift it up. So, you know, this is easy. A kid can open it up. You know what I mean? You don't have to be a, a bodybuilder to get the garage door open up, to get, to get the garage door open. So with that being said, ultimately, I feel as if whatever you want in your project whatever you want your project to look like because this wasn't always this cream color but if you look at the uh the frame the trim um uh, it's all matching so we wanted it all to match so we just got something that we can paint light easy cost effective and to get the job done man and to keep people out it's got a lock on the inside i'll show you that and it just it, it looks good. It looks clean, looks looks like I want it to look, and it costs what I want it to cost. So at the end of the day, to me, that's most important. It's got good security, it's light, it's cost effective, and it looks good. So whatever your, your end goal is for your project, just make sure you go over the numbers, because at the end of the day, as an investor, if you're doing something for funds, for money, I feel like you should you should get the best equipment for the best price. Lakeith buys houses and land. Hey, listen, um, I appreciate you watching my uh, my YouTube channel. I appreciate you uh, looking at this. I hope this gives you good information. I hope it helps you make a decision on your, your next investment property. Um, Hey man, shoot me some uh, comments. Let me know what's going on. Let me know how you feel about the information that's given, what I could do better, or what information more that I can give you as an investor or, an, or as a homeowner that can help you make the right decision. Thank you. Lakeith buys houses and land. Oh, and don't forget to follow me on all social media platforms. Thank you. See you later.